Please be seated. Robert Militish, Mace Bear, Chair Elect of the Faculty Senate and Professor of Nuclear Medicine and Neurology will now officially open the ceremony. Professor Militich. President Terpathy, Dean Folks, the graduates, the candidates for degrees, 
the faculty, the staff, and the parents, families, and friends of the graduates and candidates are now assembled. I hereby declare this commencement at the University at Buffalo to be open. Thank you, Professor Militich. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences commencement ceremony. I'm Jeff Arrington, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education within the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Our banner carrier today was Mr. Bitlub Bhattacharya, candidate for the Doctoral of Engineering degree in Industrial Engineering. As we begin today's ceremony, I ask that you take a moment to turn off all electronic messaging devices. Thank you. All those that are able, please stand for our national anthem. It will be sung by Cassidy Claybor, UB Class of 2020. Ms. Claybor will be accompanied by the Buffalo Brass Quintet. Please be seated. On our platform today, we are joined by UB President Satish Tripathi, honored guests and speakers, members of the President's Cabinet and senior leadership, associate deans, chairs, and SUNY distinguished faculty. At this time, I would like to invite President Tripathi to give his remarks. President Tripathi. Good afternoon. To all our guests, welcome to the University at Buffalo. It is wonderful to have you with us to celebrate this joyous occasion. While your graduate has benefited from many academic mentors, it is you, proud family members and friends, who have served as your graduate's life mentors. So before the degrees are conferred, I would like to thank all of you for everything you have done to make this moment possible. And now, at last, here it is. Graduates, you have reached a major milestone. And I'm so excited to be among the first to congratulate you, the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences graduate class of 2019 on this wonderful achievement. Congratulations. It is cause for elation and celebration. It is the moment when everything crystallizes, your trial, your determination, your perseverance. You're about to have 
that well-earned diploma in hand, and with it, I suspect, a sense of great fulfillment in your heart. At the same time, it is my sincere hope that your EV education has reinforced our collective value of humility and public service. As members of a public research university, we seek to discover and innovate not for self-glorification or self-aggrandizement, but, so, but so we may contribute to the greater good. Serving many and serving meaningfully has always been the centerpiece of UB's mission. We embrace service before self. We are guided by the principle of informed, engaged citizenship as the antidote to indifference. And when we engage with others, we are not compelled to impose our views upon them. Rather, we listen to each other respectfully even when we disagree. That is the essence of humility. It is selfless rather than self-seeking. Let it be clear, humility does not prevent us from having lofty ambitions. Rather, it helps us achieve lofty ambitions without having a lofty view of ourselves. Increasingly, humility is recognized as the differentiator between a good leader and a great leader. Indeed, our own UB researchers have found that the most effective leaders are humble leaders. If we appreciate that we don't have all the answers, we are open and eager to learn from others. We are intellectually curious. We welcome the contrarian viewpoints. We collaborate without bias. With true humility, we are able to fulfill our civic responsibility. Class of 2019, in preparing you to lead effectively and ethically in our 21st century world, we have seen you put this virtue and value into action. Among many examples, you have done this by developing technology to help stroke patients adapt to limited mobility, using artificial intelligence to make clean energy smarter, and working with policymakers to raise the visibility of and support for science, technology, and engineering. Like your friends and loved ones, we are very proud of all that you have accomplished at UB. And we look forward to seeing the impact of all your accomplishments moving forward. Graduates, with today's ceremony, you conclude a significant passage in your academic journey. But your journey as a learner never truly ends. If we have prepared you well in your UB education, you will continue to seek, seek answers about your field throughout your career. And you will continue to seek a deeper understanding of the world throughout your life. On this journey, may you put your precious knowledge to its best use. May you be guided by curiosity, integrity, and a desire to serve the public good. As the courageous South African leader, Nelson Mandela, once said, what counts in life is not the mere fact that you have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of life we lead. Once again, congratulations, class of 2019, and all the best wishes on the journey ahead. Thank you, President Tripathi. I would now like to invite Liesl Folks, Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, to give her remarks. Dean Folks. Thank you, Dr. Errington. It's wonderful to see you all here today. Uh, I've spent uh, 
many, many months like you looking forward to today and the celebration that uh, this embodies. My warm congratulations go to all of you who are graduating today from the University at Buffalo. I suspect many of you have mixed emotions, hope and anticipation for what comes next and what life will bring, tinged with a little sadness that comes from moving on from good friends and a place that has become home. My congratulations go especially to the families and friends who are here today to bear witness to the transition from student to graduate again. I suspect that many of you also have mixed emotions as these very special people move out into the world. Enormous pride, I am certain, but maybe also a little anxiety about what comes next. Please know, family and friends, that your support has been critical to the success of these students, and we all thank you deeply for that support. I want to also express my warmest appreciation to the Engineering and Applied Sciences faculty and staff members that have nurtured our students' success. I know that you've enthusiastically shared all kinds of engineering and science knowledge, skills, and wisdom with our students. And I know that you've also coached them on the professional skills that they need to survive and thrive and provided much needed words of support along the way when things seemed un unreasonably difficult or challenging, um, either because of situations in the classroom or situations in people's lives. Graduates, I entreat you to always aim high. As the famous primatologist Jane Goodall said, what you do makes a difference, but you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Each of you graduating today is an engine of change. Working alone or in groups, you have the knowledge to make advances that can lift people out of poverty, solve large-scale societal problems, and improve the quality of life for many, and minimize our impacts on the planet. Your work matters to the world. As you graduate from this prestigious university today, you join the ranks of some 36,000 alumni from the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, which is a valuable network of connectors, boosters, advisors, and yes, employers. Know that you can reach out to them for advice or help, and know that they will be willing to help you because of your shared experiences at this great university. In addition to giving their time, our alumni have provided invaluable financial support for your education, and we owe them a great debt of thanks for that too. Congratulations, class of 2019. We are all so, so proud of you today. Well done. Thank you, Dean Folks. At this time, President Tripathi will introduce our honorary doctoral degree recipient, President Tripathi. We take time at commencement to recognize noteworthy achievements of the members of our larger UB community. Traditionally, we award State University of New York honorary doctoral degrees to distinguished individuals whose accomplishments and contributions are of special significance to UB and Western New York. These honorary degrees proposed by our campus and authorized by the SUNY trustees are conferred on individuals who represent the highest ideals of the university at Buffalo. Would our recipient, Dr. Asto Sharma, please come forward at this time. The Secretary of the Go Department of Science and Technology for the Government of India and a Professor of Chemical Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, Dr. Astosh Sharma is among the most distinguished scientists in his country. His groundbreaking interdisciplinary research has changed our understanding of thin film instabilities, and self-organized micro and nano patterning. His seminal work has, broadened, has broadly impacted fundamentals and applied science and engineering, particularly in the area of nanoscience, where he has created new possibilities and research directions in nanofabrication. 
Beyond his numerous outstanding scholarly achievements, Dr. Sharma has remained a steadfast champion of science and service of the public good. He, uh, he is an exemplar of India's scientific advancement and an inspiration to young engineers aspiring to make a difference. And through his leadership, he has also helped initiate more than 20 new national programs in frontier areas of science and technology. One of UB's most distinguished alumni, Dr. Sharma earned his PhD at UB in 1988. Over the past three decades, he has demonstrated his dedication to his alma mater in numerous ways, including lecturing at UB and sporting a doctoral fellowship program in which UB has been a participant. As an internationally renowned scientist and advocate for educational opportunities, Dr. Sharma exemplifies the highest ideals of a scholarly and professional excellence we seek to instill in all our students. In recognition of his notable and distinguished career achievements and in appreciation of his association with and impact on our university, the University at Buffalo is privileged to confer upon Dr. Asto Sharma on behalf of the State University of New York a 2019 Honorary Doctorate in Science. <laughs> By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the University at Buffalo, I now confer upon Asuto Sharma the degree of Doctor of Science Honors Casa with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. In token thereof, I present this diploma and direct that he be vested with the hood appropriate to that degree. Good afternoon, friends. Namaste. My greetings to all the students who are graduating today. I am truly delighted, honored, and humbled to receive today a sunny doctorate in science. For this, I am grateful to the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York and the President Satish Tripathi. This is the moment I will cherish forever much more than any other awards and degrees that I have received in my whole life. It is here that my real love for the deep science blossomed, as did my other, other loves of my life, my wife of 34 years that I got from Buffalo, Neeti and my daughter Richa, they are both here. I am glad that they could join me today here. It's a homecoming for them too. I would like to believe that this honor is owing to my hard work, intelligence, and passion. I couldn't be more wrong. I have had the good fortune of working with an incredibly gifted group of students, colleagues, mentors, and institutions. So this honor is shared in full measure with all of these people. This is one lesson above all that I would like to share with the graduates today. While failures are our own, the credit for our successes goes to the good teamwork and favorable circumstances. It's a good occasion to thank our parents, spouses, family, coworkers, teachers, and friends for our blessings. If we do not know how to thank properly, our debts will, will remain forever. 
Four years ago, I was invited to be secretary to the government of India and to lead its department of science and technology. It was entirely unanticipated. For 25 long years, I was a happy professor doing my research and teaching. But I was not risk averse. I absolutely loved new opportunities for learning and new challenges of doing. This was indeed a great opportunity to contribute by connecting research to the larger concerns of science and society. I have to say it's been a totally enriching experience with the satisfaction of serving the needs of a large number of science and technology stakeholders. We all need to be a little bit disruptive in our lives now and then to sample the richness of life. This is about taking risk. We don't take risk, there is no growth. There is no professional growth, there is no personal growth. If I was again a lad of 23 and had to choose a place to do PhD, I would choose UB every time. Working with the exceptional And this is really true, I didn't make it up. I, I really mean it. Working with exceptional people like my mentor, Elie Ruckenstein, and all the great people that have followed in its footsteps in the department, I would say to you, I would say, follow not mere data and rankings, but choose a compelling path with a heart, a loving heart. It has never failed me, and it won't fail you either. To the graduating class, I should quickly point out the next generation challenges and opportunities. The major challenges are rise of intelligent machines, sustainable and inclusive development, and globalization. And we have to be prepared in full measure for each of these challenges and opportunities. To address these challenges requires balancing data with due diligence, information with intelligence, and passion with compassion. And it's a lifelong learning. To learn something new, we ought to talk to the people who are not like us, even at the cost of our psychological comfort. Friends, future is now, and the next phase of our journey begins. May your path be lit always by the gold of the rising sun and framed on all sides by the deep blue of the sky. Live long and prosper. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sharma, and congratulations. President Tripathi will now present the President's Medal. President Tripathi. From time to time, the University at Buffalo President has the honor of presenting the UB President's Medal in recognition of individuals who have expended truly extraordinary effort on behalf of our university and the communities we serve. Created in 1990, this medal is presented in recognition of, in the words of the original medal description, outstanding scholarly or artistic achievement, humanitarian acts, contribution of time and treasure, exemplary leadership, or any other major contribution to the development of the university and the quality of life of the UB community. It is my honor to have the opportunity to recognize one such individual in this year's School of Engineering and Applied Sciences graduate commencement. Would Dr. Amit Goyal please join me at the podium. <laughs> Elected to the National Academy of Engineering for his groundbreaking advances and technology innovations as an internationally renowned material scientist Dr. Amit Goel has had a broad and substantial impact on his field of study, as well as his academic community here at the University at Buffalo. 
a member of the UB community since 2015, Dr. Goel is the SUNY Empire Innovation Professor and founding director of UB's Renew Institute. His leadership has placed UB in the forefront of efforts to reduce water and air pollution and to find innovative, clean ways to produce, transmit, and store energy. A corporate fellow and distinguished scientist at Oak Ridge National Lab prior to joining UB, Dr. Goel has developed clean energy technology for over two decades. His seminal research has enabled the worldwide commercialization of high temperature superconductors. A prolific scholar, Professor Goel has authored more than 350 technical publications and co-edited six books. As evidence of his influence and impact, he was ranked by Thomson Reuters Essential Science Indicators as the most cited author worldwide in the field of high temperature superconductivity for a full decade. An elected fellow, sure. An elected fellow of eight professional societies, including the National Academy of Inventors, Professor Goel has an incredible 87 patents to his credit. He has earned national and international accolades for his scholarly excellence and groundbreaking achievements, including the E.O. Lawrence Award in Energy Science and Innovation, 10 R&D 100 Awards, R&D 100 Magazine's Innovator of the Year Award, and the Department of Energy's Energy 100 Award, recognizing the finest 100 scientific accomplishments since department was created in 1977. Our university and our community has been greatly enriched by Professor Goel's scholarship and service. It is now my great pleasure to recognize his many contributions to UB with one of the highest honors bestowed by our university community, the President's Medal, which I'm proud to present to Dr. Amit Goel. Good afternoon. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, President Tipathi, for your kind and generous remarks and for this wonderful, uh, prestigious recognition and honor. It is well recognized that transformative advancements in most areas of inquiry will occur at the interface of disciplines and will require a truly multidisciplinary team to tackle. Hence the need for convergent research. While many universities around the world recognize this fact, few have taken the bold step of actually creating truly multidisciplinary initiatives, such as the Renew Institute at UB. Because these are indeed hard to establish, given the disciplinary silos characteristic of most academic institutions. To do so requires a university to have visionary leadership for which I thank President Tupati, Provost Zakowski, Dean Folks, and the other six deans participating uh, the Renew Institute. I also want to thank faculty across the seven schools and colleges comprising Renew for their collaboration in establishing the Institute. Finally, on a personal note, I would like to thank all of my family, some of whom are here today, for without their support, encouragement, and sacrifices, it would not have been possible for me to accomplish what I have been able to do over the years. Of course, today is really only about you, the class of 2019, and so a big congratulations to all the graduates, your family, and friends. Just a few decades back, I was sitting where you are today, in a graduation ceremony, ecstatic about graduating and for having accomplished a major life milestone, yet anxious about what the future lay in store for me. 
I want you to know that in the toolbox of skills and traits that you have acquired during your education at UB, you have the necessary ingredients for being successful. I would like to encourage you all to have big goals and dreams, for having these goals and striving to achieve them is almost a prerequisite for having a major impact in your chosen fields. And with that, let me conclude by congratulating you all once again for your fantastic achievement. I'd like to wish you all the very best for a bright, successful, and a rewarding career. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Goyle, and congratulations. I would now like to introduce the graduate student speaker, Philip Adunker. Philip is a candidate for the Doctor of Philosophy degree in Mechanical Engineering. Philip? Thank you, Dr. Arrington. I am incredibly honored and humbled to be addressing all of you today. Not that long ago, most of us came to UB with stomachs filled with excitement, anxiety, and thrill. Today, we all leave with stomachs filled with buffalo wings and young chow. <laughs> but nevertheless, we are celebrating a moment in our lives when our academic expectations have become a reality in the best possible way. As an engineer, I love to tell stories using numbers. In fact, one of my most memorable UB experiences revolves around the number 26. You see, in my first semester here at UB, I attempted to make microwaved popcorn in my new lab. Now, I say attempted because instead of putting it in for two minutes, six seconds, like the instructions asked, I accidentally entered 26 minutes. Needless to say, all 10 floors of furnace were evacuated, a fire truck showed up, and I had to convince my new mentor that despite failing miserably at making microwave popcorn, there was still indeed PhD quality. <laughs> now, that is just one story. But the incredible thing is everyone in here has their own numbers which capture some essence of their most memorable UB experiences be it through your UB person number, your GPA, or even that phone number of that boyfriend or girlfriend you met while you were here at UB. But after today, numbers will start to tell a very different story in our lives. For some of us, we will start to measure our lives by the number of days left on our student visas, or the number of job applications we send out. We will feel compelled to get married by 30, have kids by 32, and desperately try to retire before we ever hit 60. But while we're all busy creating this perfectly numbered timeline for ourselves, life will undoubtedly come in and rearrange some of these numbers. Like in my case, it will put a 26 where there shouldn't be one. But I'm here today to tell you that is perfectly fine. Life does not have to be a series of perfect numbers. How do I know? Well, despite failing at making microwaved popcorn, in a couple of minutes, you will all be calling me Dr. Phil. I think that says it all. <laughs> so rather than stressing over the superficial numbers in life, I implore you to focus on the numbers that make you rich in life currency like the number of times you tell a loved one you love them, or the number of times you practice your faith, or help the less fortunate. These numbers are an expression of joy and humility that often gets lost in engineering and the computer sciences, but are the numbers that truly count in life. So whatever new numbers life brings your way, whether planned or unplanned, I challenge you all to embrace it and use it to tell a story as compelling as the one we celebrate today. Congratulations, class of 2019, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Philip was the winner of the Graduate Student Speaker Competition 
He was chosen by a committee comprised of faculty and staff. Philip will receive a 2019 class ring provided by Jostens. We have further reason to congratulate Philip today. He was recently chosen as a recipient of the SUNY Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence. At this time, I'd like to invite Dean Folks to speak about this award. The Chancellor's Award for Student Excellent honors State University of New York students who have been recognized for their integration of academic excellence with other aspects of their lives, such as leadership, campus involvement, and community service. It doesn't mention popcorn, but we'll assume that that's part of that. It makes me very proud to recognize Philip Adonka as the recipient of this award. Philip plans to remain in the Academy as a faculty member after graduation, and we're tremendously proud of him. Congratulations to you, Philip. Graduation marks the culmination of your master's or doctorate experience here at UB, and the ceremony celebrates your success. The degrees authorized by the trustees of the State University of New York will now be conferred by President Tripathi. The candidates will be presented by Dean Folks. Will the candidates for master's degrees please stand and remain at their seats? President Tripathi, on behalf of the faculty of this university, I have the honor of recognizing these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the Master of Engineering degree or Master of Science degree. By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the university at Buffalo, I now confer upon you the Master of Engineering degree our Master of Science degree with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Students, please be seated. We will now ask each group to come forward as directed by a faculty marshal to be greeted by President Tripathi, Dean Folks, and the department chair. Graduates will be presented with a bracelet or keychain compliments of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. When you're finished on the platform, please return to your seat. Names will be read by Professors Metapolium Siva Selvin and Karthik Dantu. It is requested that the audience holds their applause until all candidates for a given degree have had their names read. We also request that you do not come forward to take pictures. There is an official photographer who will take photographs of every degree recipient as they cross the stage. And we begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin with the Master of Engineering degree recipients, starting with chemical engineering recipients. Myri Zhang. And now, our Master of Engineering in Industrial Engineering recipients. Emma Lasker. Michael O'Shehan. Congratulations, Master of Engineering recipients. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will continue with our Master of Science recipients, starting with aerospace engineering recipients. Byron Chan, J. 
Jeremy Chapman. Electra Ismail. Don Lee. Abhishek Mishra. Jonathan Prisbilla. Congratulations, aerospace engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Biomedical Engineering recipients. Naveen Balaraju. Anusha Ramesh Chandra. Ameya Deshpande. Riyad Ghani, Sanjana Ghosh, Akshita Gupta, Jinal Joshi, Nidhi Karkera, Rachel Suan Lim, Karen Mace, Harini Nishankar, Parva Hemant Parekh, Shilpa Ramanarayanan, Purnima Ramaraj, Ballari Sain, Shruti Shukla, Pooja Srivastava, Catherine Widers, Congratulations, Biomedical Engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Chemical Engineering recipients. Navishkant Alexander. Jillian Ennis. Mokshita Ban. Kate Chen. Xiaoyi Chen. Sartak Rajiv Joshi. Janvi Duadkar. Janavi Gohil, Santosh Gunturi, Kemakran Itisub Farlap, Shubankar Kapoor, Abu Baker Kalafala, Burhan Basset. Byron, Brian Matthews, Krishnendu Mukherjee, Suyash Nagpurkar, Anirudh Raghavan, Kritika Santanam, Bhumika Sheth, Fan Zhang, Congratulations, chemical engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Civil Engineering recipients. Umar Farooq Abdul Haq. Patek Baruwal. Ankit Bhargava. Omero Fernando Carion, Arune Kartik Chanda Ravichandran, Gauri Gorak Gorakshnanak Chandor, Rishabh Chauhan, Siddhar Chaladurai, 
Byron Korea, Animesh Datta, Kareem Eltoni, Ariana Fay, Christine Hart, Natalia Egrashkina, Lisette Iturburu Altamirano, Kyle Jablonski, Sai Chaudeshwar Rao Korlapati, Yang Liu, Churyanathan Loganathan, Farima Logmani, Francis Lulio, Chitung La Terry, Milad Madhavilayan, Piyush Mehta, Claudia Morello Mello, Michael Musili, Muhammad Asad Nawaz, Brittany Packard, Rashi Pere, Rahul Raman, Arjuna Ranjit, Saif Rahman Sakib, Vignesh Sridhar, Anand Kumar Srinivasan, Sadia Sultana, Yi Wei Sun, Mohammed Syed, Fernando Sazdi Bardales, Antene Tekle, Mahesh Kumar, Richa Suresh Todi, Anil Tripathi, Yinghao Shu, Ram Kripal Yadav, Yimin Zhang, Zarak Khan Kasi, Congratulations, civil engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Computer Science and Engineering recipients. Mahidra Achala. Shailesh Adhikari. Salim Ahmed. Santosh Fani Vishnu Aita, Pradeep Kumar Aita, Ashutosh Alexander, Savit Alturi, Al Aluri, Venkata Krishnan Anantaraman, Shubham Kirtram Badola. Pratiba Barsale, John Lawrence Batesen, Alexander Belaglazov, Saurabh Bhagat, Prajna Gangadhar Bandari, Ankesh Boy, Tejaswini Reddy Boda, Sukesh Bogavarapu, Anirban Chatterjee, Deepika Chowdhury, Kalyani Chikte, Akshay Chopra. Dairia Hardikbai Desai, 
Kautuk Desai, Manpreet Jandal Danjal, Samrada Dubey, Dilip Reddy Gadam. Madhura Umesh Gajendra Da Bhavik Gala Harish Ganesan Parush Garg Kshitij Goyal Anant Gupta Soham Gupte Richard Hanulovich, Karan Hora, Maria Hussein, Nakul Jain, Moni Kumari, Aditya Kohli, Abhishek Krishna. Janiklas Ralph James, Nagendra Kamath, Samarth Kanabar, Kai Yu Kang, Vaishnavi Kannan, Sajid Khan, Sareen Khan, Zeba Khan, Ratnamala Korlepara, Harsha Costa, Arun Krishnamurti, Abhinav Kumar, Sandeep Kumar, Harika Reddy, Jisan Leon, Krishna Chaitanya, Mongfei Li, Chen Liang, Shengyang Luo, Mahalakshmi Maddu, Ravi Malik, Rahul Mallu, Abhijit Mande, Utsav Mathur, Savarish Meenakshi Sundaram Balasub, Sneha Mehta, Roshni Murali, Aditya Murali Dharan, Priya Murti, Sai Nikhela Mutyala, Priyanka Manoj Nayak, Swati Sridhar Nair, Charushi Nanwani, Nitin Nataraj, Muttuvel Palanisami, Vijaya Harshavardhan, Shubham Sailesh Pandey, Kaushik Pannir Selvam, Namita Paramel Somachudan, Sneha Parshwana Bharadwaj Patasardi Rohan Patak Prachi Patil Priti Mary Philip Archit Pikle Ajay Sai Patluri Sujay Purandre, Maruti Puta, Shashank Raghunath, Rakesh Singh Rana, Srinivas Ravi, Vinish Ravindran, Nimisha Philip Rodriguez, Amar Rupawala, Sujit Sajeev, P. 
ಪಿಯೂಷ್ ಸುರೇಂದ್ರೆ ಸುರೇಂದ್ರ ಸರವಾಗಿ ವೀರಪ್ಪನ್ ಸರವಣನ್ ಕೇತನ್ ಶಾ ಪ್ರಚಿ ಜೈದೀಪ್ ಶಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ್ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಅನುಷ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ವರುಣ್ ಶಿಜೌ ಪ್ರಿಯಂಶಿ ಶುಕ್ಲಾ ಪಲ್ವಿಂದರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೇರಣಾ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಯಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಹರ್ಷದೀಪ್ ಸೋಖಿ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಸುದರ್ಶನನ್ ಶಿವಂ ಸಾಹು ರಾಜೀವ್ ರಂಜನ್ ಕರಣ್ ಲೋತ್ರ ಮನೀಷಾ ತರಿಕೊಂಡ ಮಾನಸಿ ತಂಬೋಲಿ ಶಿವಾನಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಅಲೆಕ್ಸಾಂಡರ್ ಉಮಾಲಿ ಶಿವಂ ಉಪಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ವಿನಯ್ ವರ್ಧಮಾನ್ ಅಭಿಷ್ ಅಭಿಲಾಷ್ ವೆಲಾಲಂ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶನ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಯಶ್ವಂತ್ ವಿಟ್ಟ ಶಿವರಾಜ್ ವಾಬಾಲೆ ಪರಿತೋಷ್ ಮಂದರ್ ವಾಲ್ವೇಕರ್ ಖಾಂಗ್ ಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಂಗ್ ಹೌಲಾನ್ ವಾಂಗ್ ಫಾನ್ಸಿ ಶಾನ್ ಆಕಾಶ್ ಯಲಸ್ವರೂಪು ಆಲನ್ ಡ್ಯಾನಿಯಲ್ ಯಸ್ಸ ಶಿವೋ ಶಾಂಗ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ರಿಸೆಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Electrical Engineering recipients. Nikilesh Ashok Udya Kumar. Gautam Balasubramanyan. Kartikeyan Balasubramanyan. Sinjini Banerjee. Anish Jyoti Barua. ಶಶಾಂಕ್ ಭರತರಾಜನ್ ದೀಪ್ತಿ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ್ ರಿಷಿ ಭೀಸೆ ಅಶ್ವಿನ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾವರ್ ಶಿವಿ ಚತುರ್ವೇದಿ ಜಾಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಕ್ರಾಬ್ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ್ ದೇಬ್ ಸೋಹಮ್ ಧೀರೇನ್ ದೇಸಾಯ್ ರಿಯಾ ಫರ್ನಾಂಡೇಸ್ Unnati Gore, Ishita Gupta, Kritika Guru Shankar, Namita Hemachandran, Ruo Beng Hua, Aparna Jaiswal, Abhilash Joshi, Kirtana Kannan, Gaurav Kapoor, ಆದಿತ್ಯ ನರಸಿಂಹ ಶರ್ಮ ಕೊಂಡುಕುಲ ಐಶ್ವರ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಕುಲಕರ್ಣಿ ಸುಮಿತ್ ಕುಲಕರ್ಣಿ ಅವಿನಾಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ಕುರುವಳ್ಳಿ ಬೊಗ್ಗುಲ ನಯನ್ ಲಖೇರಾ ಜೇ ಲಿ ರೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಯು ಇಶಿತಾ ಮಾಲಚರಿ ಅರಿತ್ರ ಮನ್ನ ಅಮಿತ್ ಮಥುಕಿಯಾ ಹರ್ಷ್ ಮಾಥುರ್ ಬ್ರಿಟನ್ ಮೆಡ್ಲಿ ಋತುರಾಜ್ ಮೆಹ್ತಾ 
Gaurish Mestha, Srinivasan Murali, Hiren Aravind Murugudu Govindarajan, Gauri Nare, Mittal Patre, Pratik Patil, Jebeline Prince, Sahiti Reddy Ponnam, Kartik Radhakrishna, Kishore Raji, Ajay Ravi Shankar, Someshwar Rao, Harshita Vaja, Suman Narayana, Harshit Keshav Murthy, Vyashak Nija Guna Stanika, Swaminathan Selvam, Kaushik, Kaushik Shahapuk Turkar, Manisha Sharma, Kanika Shetty, Vishwajit Singamaneni, Divya Srinivasan, Shreyash Sri Ram Reddy Mujula Devi, Sharat Sri Vastav, Vaishnayandar Sudev, Prudvi Reddy Vemi Reddy, Abhilash Venkatesh, Ilakia Venkatesh, Shruti Tambulundi, Siddharth Yadav, Avnish Shetty, Xi Jing Wang, Xiaogang Shu, Sheng Wang Zhang, Congratulations, electrical engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Engineering Science recipients. Suhit Datta. Tejas Drangadaria. Paul Girdler, James Shu, Trupti Jadav, Sai Krishna Kanneti, Priya Karadi, Advait Kulkarni, Shreyas Kulkarni, Alekhya Kumar, Maya McDaniel, Likit Kumar Miryala, Mona Lisa Mishra, Karan Nisar, Parth Oza, Sai Kiran Putta, Hari Krishna Chalam Raju Ranganini, Anish Shah, Yashas Samaraju, Cheng Zhe Sun, Varad Tupe, Yi Cheng Zhang, Congratulations, Engineering Science recipients. Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Industrial Engineering recipients. Akshay Agarwal, Yash Ahuja, Harita Apojala, Lindsay Bear, Pradeep Palasubramanian, Rachit Bapna, Gokul Bhaskaran, Amit Damle, Joel Lance 
Lancel De Souza, Tony George, Ashish Kumar Gopalakrishnan, Raja Gudiyan Kamagari, Pushpal Jagdale, Priyesh Jain, Mithil Kadam, Husef Kadri, Vivekananda Reddy Kanduri, Kim Jung Sap, Pranav Kulkarni, Vidya Kulkarni, Celester Dennis Raj Leo Michael, Ramandeep Singh Mikija, Harsha Mandava, Christine Miller, Ameya Munagekar, Ranganath Nadatur Vasudevan, Chetana Suresh Nayak, Harsh Nisar, Gautam Reddy Nomula, Uday Kumar Palnisami, Srikant Avinash Pachpande, Ketul Patel Akasal Salavi, Harsh Parindu Patel, Ramakrishna Polapedi, Shreyas Prakash, Ram Purnanandam, Vishnu Pusapati, Shivani Rabra, Raghavendra Vishnu Ratsamallu, Pratik Ramesh, Shreyas Ramesh, Arpit Rana, Vatsal Manish Kumar Raval, Romil Vipulbhai Shah, Mohit Shantilal Bafna, Ishwara Swarup Simhadri, Harnur Singh, Arjun Sio Prakasham, Saurabh Taplial, Krishna Swami Velayudham, <coughs> Venkata Krishna Mani Prupesh, Wanting Yang, Madhubala Santosh Zambre, Vijay Ganesh Srinivasan, Akil Pothula, Congratulations, industrial engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Materials Design and Innovation recipients. Ibrahim Diallo. Maud Nazmul Hassan. Devyani Jivani, Behnush Satari Babukhani, Congratulations, Material Scientists. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering recipients. Revant Adlaka, Vivek Naresh Kumar Bavsar, Michael Buka, Juotwao Kai, Muyang Cheng, Kayue Deng, 
Piyush Fidoria, Firodia, Tyler Foster, Kubir Reddy Gorantla, Alex Thomas, Aditya Kadilkar, Suraj Kutapan Sudesan, Swapnil Bhavesh Mehta, Pariya Mir Hashemian, Namish Mishra, Darsh Kiritbhai Natawani, Tyler Olson, Matthew Parisi, Zachary Perkins, Louis Fritzo, Siddharth Sher, Brian Trin, Harshavardhan Virinchipuram Kailas, Congratulations, mechanical engineers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Science in Sustainable Transportation and Logistics recipients. This is the first cohort of students to graduate from this program. Sri Harsha Dayanidhi, Ishnur Kaur, Russell Quarantello, Mohit Sharma, Congratulations, and congratulations again to all of our master's recipients. Please also give a round of applause for our valiant readers, Professors Siva Selvin and Dentu. The candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy will now be presented by Dean Folks. Will the candidates for doctoral degrees please stand and remain at their seats? President Tripathi, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor of recognizing these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the university at Buffalo, I now confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. We will now have the hooding and recognition of our Doctor of Philosophy recipients. Their names and their major professors' names will be read by Professor Shambhu Appandaya, Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Education. Students will proceed on stage by discipline to receive their Doctor of Philosophy hoods. They will then proceed across the stage to receive congratulations from President Tripathi and other university representatives. Graduates will receive a pen, compliments of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Our hooding marshal is Professor Gary Dargish. Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Aerospace Engineering recipients. Timothy Adorsky, Major Professor Paul Bauman.
Abhishek Venkateshwaran, Major Professor Sonjay Das and Abani Patra. Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering recipients. Nandita Anandakrishnan, Major Professor Rogang Zhao. Kevin Carter, Major Professor Jonathan Lowell. Upendra Chitgupi, Major Professor Jonathan Lowell. <laughs> Kerry Poppenberg, Major Professor Hui Meng. Randall Smith, Jr., Major Professor Stilianos Andriadis. Yuan Yuan, Major Professor Debanjan Sarkar. Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering recipients. Andrew Bodratti, Major Professor Pascalis Alexandridis. Ruksana Jahan, Major Professor Pascalis Alexandridis. <laughs> Yi Zhang, Major Professor Marina Sino. Amin Jafari, Major Professor Chong Cheng. Muhammad Muhammad, Major Professor Chong Cheng. Andrew Kretsch, Kretsch uh, Major Professor Sheldon Park. Juni Liu, Major Professor Hai Ching Lin. Nima Shah Karamai Por, Major Professor Hai Ching Lin. R.F. Shahini, Major Professor Stilianos Andriadis. Yusen Zhao, Major Professor Sriram Nilamegam. Yuchi Zhu, Major Professor Sriram Nilamegam.
Hang Zhuang Zhang, Major Professor Gang Wu. Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering recipients. Hussein Silsalar, Major Professor Michael Constantino. Ching Ching Yu, Major Professor Andrew Whitaker. Alok Desh Pandey. Major Professor Ravi Ranade and Andrew Whitaker. <laughs> Hamid Reza Fakri, Major Professor Ravi Ranade. Mauricio Dias. Aran Sibia, Major Professor Pinar Okumas. Kankan -kan Yang, Major Professor Pinar Okumas. Yushan Fu, Major Professor Metopalayam Shivaselvan. Ali Garbuz, Major Professor, Mittupalayam Shiva Selvan. Fezi Gofrani, Major Professor, Ching He. Hard is Martin Poor, Major Professor Joseph Atkinson. Jian Ming Hao, Major Professor Teng Wu. Alexandros Nicholas, Major Professor Callol Set. <laughs> Siddharth Parida, Major Professor Callol Set and Puneet Singla. Sina Yosefian, Major Professor Andreas Stauridis. Ji Zhang, Major Professor Jamal Basaran. Weijiang Zhang, Major Professor Jamal Basaran. Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science and Engineering recipients. Shwetang Kumar Saha, Major Professor Dimitriots Kotso Nicholas. Zhongji Ba, Major Professor Kui Ren.
Jingwan Fan, Major Professor, Major Professor Chen Ming Chao, Tong Guan, Major Professor Chen Ming Chao. Yu Liu, Major Professor Chang Wen Chen. Farshad Ghani, Major Professor Karthik Dantu. Frank Schoenemann, Major Professor Yarik Zola. Duck Long, Major Professor Varun Chandola. Feng Long Ma, Major Professor Jingao. Mayra Saboya Da Silva, Major Professor Neil Snap. Ting Ji, Major Professor Oliver Kennedy. Guru Prasad Srinivasa, Major Professor Jeffrey Chalan. Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering recipients. <laughs> Alec Cheney, Major Professor Alexander Cartwright. Purnima Dharmavaram, Major Professor Albert Titus. Adam Gannon, Major Professor Stella Batalama. Zahra Hajibabe Najaf Abadi, Major Professor Nicholas Mastonardi. <laughs> Pei Mao, Major Professor Liang Feng. Dong Yin Ren, Major Professor Jun Huan Choi. Xing Jia, Major Professor Joseph Jornet. Yun Zhu, Major Professor Natalia Lichinitzer. (Applause) 
Nan Zhang, Major Professor Chao Chiang Gan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Industrial Engineering recipients. <laughs> Fatema Arabi, Major Professor Rajan Bata. Biplav Bhattacharya, Major Professor, Major Professor Rajan Bhatta and Lee Lin. <laughs> Natalie Benda, Major Professor and Byzants. Judith Tiferes Wang, Major Professor and Besants. Xiaomei Wang, Major Professor and Besants. Adam Hauser, Major Professor Matthew Bolton. Meng Lee, Major Professor Matthew Bolton. Kylie Molinaro, Major Professor Matthew Bolton. Jia Jun Wei, Major Professor Matthew Bolton. Shi Zheng, Major Professor Matthew Bolton. Ji Da Huang, Major Professor Chi Zhou. Vineet Madasseri Payapalli, Major Professor Jun Zhuang. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering recipients. Hassan Al Baba. Major Professor Mustafa No. Jijuan Kao, uh, Jijuan Chao, Major Professor Abani Patra. Soramshu Nandi. Major Professor Tarun Raj Singh. Philip Wodonkar, Major Professor Kemper Lewis. Jun Wang, Major Professor Rahul Rai. Bin Bin Jang, Major Professor Rahul Rai. Kundan Goswami, Major Professor Gary Dargush.
Hao Yu Zhang, Major Professor Jason Armstrong and Gary Dargush. Robert Damiano, Major Professor Hui Meng. Congratulations, doctoral recipients. Would all the graduates please stand at this time? You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you class of 2019. Please be seated. I would now like to invite Peter Beakey, board member of the UB School of Engineering and Applied Sciences Alumni Association, to say a few words. Thank you. 49 years ago, uh, I was in your shoes, so I'm going to be brief. It is an honor to be the first to address you, not as students, but as peers, fellow alumni of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Today, the first chapter of your UB story concludes, and the next, indeed a longer and yet richer one, begins. Know that you are in talented company, and that you are now a part of a rich tradition of excellence. On behalf of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Alumni Association's Board of Directors, and the 36,000 members who preceded you, I say welcome to the club. We're glad to have you. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Peter. Class of 2019, I ask that you stay close to your alma mater and come back to campus often so that you can inspire and influence the next generation of engineers and applied scientists. At this time, Ms. Cassidy Claybor and the Buffalo Brass Quintet will perform the first verse and refrain of the university alma mater. We invite you all to sing along. The lyrics are available on page 25 of your program. Everyone, please rise if you are able.
Thank you to the Buffalo Brass Quintet and Ms. Claybor. Audience, please be seated and remain so until all participants and graduates have exited. Graduates, please remain standing. Immediately following the recessional, you are invited to receptions honoring graduates, families, and friends. Light refreshments will be served. Locations are as follows. Biomedical, industrial, mechanical and aerospace engineering, and engineering science, room 145 of the student union. Chemical and biological engineering, flag room of the student union. Civil, structural, and environmental engineering, second floor of Davis Hall. Computer science and engineering, student union lobby. Electrical engineering, first floor of Davis Hall. Materials design and innovation, room 120 of Bonner Hall. Professor Militich will now close the ceremony. Professor Militich. I declare this 2019 commencement is now officially concluded.
Thank you. 